are they going to be removed? That is the question many are asking of Google today, who has updated their inactive account policies, citing the reason for these policy changes being security reasons and further stating to reduce risk, we are updating our inactivity policy for Google accounts to two years across our products. Starting later this year, if a Google account has not been used or signed into for at least two years, we may delete the account and its contents, including content within Google Workspace, meaning Gmail, Google Docs, Google Drive, Google Meet, and Google Calendar, but also YouTube and Google Photos. The policy only applies to personal Google accounts and will not affect accounts for organizations like schools or businesses. Confirming further, while the policy takes effect today, it will not immediately impact users with an inactive account. The earliest we will begin deleting accounts is December of 2023. This immediately bringing to concern if graduated VTuber accounts will be deleted, as some of them may be listed as business accounts, but not all, and thereby concerning many fans if all of this content will be gone as soon as the end of this year. This coming on the heels of Elon Musk, speaking about Twitter.com, days before, stating, we're purging accounts that have had no activity at all for several years. So you will probably see follower counts drop. Developer John Carmack responding, I may be reading this incorrectly, but if you are actually deleting inactive accounts and all their historic tweets, I would strongly urge you to reconsider. The head of Twitter responding, the accounts will be archived, but it's important to free up abandoned handles. As here we have Vyug and Skuchan saying, Elon, please don't deactivate me. I exist. Now, thankfully, regarding YouTube, we may have some good news. As after that news got out about the update to the inactive account policy, later we had Creator Liaison. Official tweets from your friendly neighborhood YouTube Creator Liaison. This morning, confirming we have no plans to delete accounts with YouTube videos. So hopefully at this time, actual YouTube accounts with videos, not on the chopping block. However, it does seem to be clear for security purposes and commercial purposes, many of these online services that so many VTubers rely on are now seriously looking at the data that they have been archiving. And with the purging of inactive accounts, we may see massive changes to the number of subscribers for many VTubers. As next, we check back in with Niji Sanji, now issuing out this statement that regarding Akane Asahina, aka Akko, a member of Niji Sanji for nearly three years now, being a part of the Nornus musical group, and just four days ago, revealing not only a brand new outfit, but also releasing a song cover. This statement reading, announcement of Asahina Akane's graduation. On May 24th, 2023, Asahina Akane will graduate from Niji Sanji and leave Nornus in order to focus on her studies. Therefore, the YouTube channel, her fan club, Twitter, and other social networking services related to her will be closed on May 26th. Sales of content such as goods and voices will also be suspended. Fan letters will be accepted until June 30th. We would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to all the fans who supported Asahina Akane and her activities since her debut on August 6th of 2020. Akko has done a wide range of activities including transcending language barriers and focusing on singing. We'd also like to express our respect and heartfelt gratitude in her activities as a member of Nornus. This particular member being perhaps the most active Niji Sanji member on the Niji Sanji subreddit, she herself would also leave a message. As I explained in my membership stream last night, I've decided to graduate from Niji Sanji and leave Nornus on May 24th. I've decided to transfer because of family circumstances. I thought it might be difficult to balance my life as a Niji Sanji liver and my studies at the same time. Thanks to everyone's support so far, I was able to make lots of valuable experiences. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to the livers, the management, and everyone involved who has been friends with me. And once again, this town is a part of a three-member group, Nornis, who has also released a statement. We announced that Asahina Akane will be leaving Nornis on May 24th. Thank you very much for her support since the start of our activities. From now on, Nornis will continue its activities with the members Chita Chima and Inoue Toko. Thank you for your continued support. Akko would also confirm that one of the cover songs that is on her channel regarding the other members involved with Nornis will thankfully be re-debuted and re-uploaded to Inoue Toko's channel once the rights are clear. This lastly bringing us today to Nishizono Chigusa, a fellow Nijisanji talent and best friend of Akko, now releasing her own statement about this graduation on her Twitter. As announced today, Akko will be graduating from Nijisanji because she is transferring schools. I'm afraid that I can't express my feelings in a stream, so I'm going 
going to write about my honest feelings and words instead. I met Akko here at the Celine Girls Academy, joined the drama club, and we worked hard together in Nijisanji. When I first met Akko, we went to karaoke after school. I was surprised to hear her singing there, and I remember that I was filled with happiness. The singing voice that makes people happy is not only due to her talent, but also to her own efforts that I have always respected. I will never forget this singing voice, and it will exist in my heart forever. I'm sure the people around her will do the same. I would be lying if I say that I don't feel lonely and sad, but I also think this is a sign of how important she is to me. Even though I will have to move on, she is still my best friend, and I will always treasure her. I am very happy to have met someone that I can think of as such. Akko, I wish you a happy life. I hope you can live happily, eat delicious food, have fun with makeup and fashion, and smile brightly. I know this is a personal wish, but I want you to continue being the Akko who loves to sing. I love you so much. This now being the 75th VTuber to have exited Any Color Incorporated, as once again this graduation will be taking place on May 24th of next week, and all of her social media contents and channel will be also further removed two days later on May 26th. Also recently graduated this past weekend from Nijisanji was Zia Cornelia, as others with Nijisanji are also planning their graduation, such as Amasia Michela and Taka Rajamon. Taka now releasing his second of four duet cover songs alongside this time with Inna Alouette in a stating our first and last duet. That as from his first duet cover, it could be seen alongside Hiona in this illustrated artwork. That by way of Paco, Taka responding no words can express my gratitude. Also set to graduate from Niji Sanji is Siska Leontine. Earlier today collabing alongside Pavolia Reine of Hall Live Indonesia. The two taking part in a talking and drawing stream. Now also from this morning we have a graduation letter from this Niji Sanji liver. Beginning with, I don't know what to say in this letter, but graduation was the hardest decision I've ever made. As you guys know, I will be retiring from my VTuber activities, aka graduating by June 15th. Let's spend this precious time with the time we have left. I feel very grateful to have been brought together by you guys, the viewers. You are just like my closest friends. You guys are the ones who make my dreams come true. So thank you very much for these two years. Almost three, perhaps. I know this is sad news, but I want my graduation, my last dream, to be full of fun and happiness. You have to promise not to cry later on my graduation, because I don't want to see my lions crying. From the world's nicest elite security guard, Siska. And next with Niji Sanji, we have the pirate captain, Banhada, live streaming when she can, and recently taking to Twitter to say people get mental breakdowns from life and not want to do anything. That's been me for a while, so please stop urging me to stream. Don't ask me why I'm not streaming or release your anger on me directly, as I am not your emotional trash can. Elaborating further, I'm not being aggressive. I'm finally saying that I'm sick and tired of how long I've been going through people tagging me in their tweets, commenting in my chat, or sending me marshmallows saying how they're disappointed and mad, can you believe it, that I'm not streaming as much, and they feel like I care less about my fans, which I think is ridiculous. And you should touch some grass, because unfortunately streaming is not my full-time job, unlike it may be for a few others. I have a life and job to go to, and people I need to meet with as well. Who are you to say I don't care about my fans? You don't know me like that. I don't wish for streaming to become my full-time job, because then personally I feel like then I would become isolated and lose touch with my people outside of streaming. In case you haven't realized, I have closed my marshmallows as a result, and from here on will not open it again because of how aggressive people can be when they're anonymous. So if you have a problem with me not streaming and you wish to make a complaint, feel free to contact any color directly, and I suggest you watch other amazing Niji Sanjo livers, because the more this becomes an apparent problem, I will stream less and less and less. For your information, me tweeting in English doesn't mean it's targeted to my English fans directly. It's just that English is my comfy language and I'm able to express the situation and feelings better than I would be able to in Korean or Japanese. If you read up to here, hope you get eight hours of sleep. And today we're not sleeping on Niji Sanji English's Nina Kosaka, giving us that Metal Gear fix while also taking part in an Overcooked 2 collab alongside Hall Live Indonesia's Ayunda Risu and Crazy Ali, plus Niji Sanji's Mika Malatika, a perfectly say-so collab where the ID VTubers certainly didn't talk about peeing for five minutes to the horror of Nina. Nina later letting us know Mother is going to war. I'll be participating in Lords Mobile cross Niji Sanji EN VTubers battle and taking on Pomo and Rosami. Join my guild so we can rise up and defeat their evil, cleanse our lands, and prosper. Pomo Rainpuff, fresh from her second anniversary with Niji Sanji, saying, you're going down, Nina Tosaka. Next up with Niji EN, we have Aya Amare saying, that's a wrap. I finished my longest ongoing stream series on my channel, drawing every current member of Niji Sanji EN. This all beginning on August 5th 
Jonathan ending on May 16th. I is saying further, I remember wanting to stream myself drawing all of Aluna in one go and then realizing it would take way more than just one stream. When I finished drawing all of Aluna, I thought to myself, oh, fooey, might as well draw everyone. This was one of my cornerstones of content. I drew a member of EN just about every week until it just became a habit. I had so much fun just talking about what I liked about the member I drew, recalling funny stories, inside jokes, and more. This series means a lot to me. It really helped me find the kind of content I like to do, that being rambling while holding a pen. Thanks for joining me for these. Now I rest my wrist. And here we now have Hololive Indonesia, letting us know that permanent auditions are now open. This all while we are awaiting the fourth generation of Hololive Indonesia. Those auditions haven't been opened months ago. Many users noticing that this permanent audition in no part mentions having to be a female. That's right. No specifications. Any longer looking for women and thereby of course leading to speculation if Hololive Indonesia may see their own Holostars branch. This all while Hololive official would send this to everyone who always supports us. This being brand new supporter guidelines stating online communication has increased greatly over the past years. Where love exists, so does hate. These guidelines hitting three major points saying support them. Once they finally achieve their goal, praise them saying congratulations and good job. Watch over them. Please watch over them so that they may shine ever brighter on new stages and new frontiers. But perhaps the biggest reason for posting these new guidelines comes with the final piece here. Respect them. Saying everyone has thoughts and values of their own. We believe that your forms of love and support are as varied as you are. In the process, you may encounter opinions that may differ from your own perspective. Instead of disrespecting them, please respect them and understand that they are just different. We want you all to calmly accept such differences and respect not only your favorites, but also yourself and other members of the community. Your cooperation is essential for us to continue to provide opportunities for our talents to achieve their dreams while respecting the ideals that they have. We hope to create a new aspect of Hololive production together with our fans as, quote unquote, friends who support each other even beyond the boundaries. With talent supporters and production hand in hand, let's aim for a community we build together. One of those towns, of course, being Hecos Bells of Hololive English, the rat VTubers, PC Case with hype now going back on sale as Bay would recently take to stream with the Hololive Councilress RPG now available for free download on itch.io. We will include that link below. Bay unexpectedly voice acting a certain line here. also here with Bejamite Domination. We have come to an end of this amazing series. Who better to ask to taste than these guests today? Those guests being Hall Live Director A-Chan and CEO of Cover Corporation Yago. This then leading to Yago to go trending. A-Chan later saying thank you for inviting me and Yago-san to your special project as she would then provide this photograph of Yago eating Vegemite for the very first time. And now we have Axel Sirios with Hollow Tempest releasing his cover of Kick back. The character illustrator of this music video saying whoever pulling the trigger is up to your interpretation as Das Doctor would show his interpretation here and further Mud Onion would lean into the Chainsaw Man inspiration as also Sue would give us this vroom vroom scene redraw. Further with Hollow Tempest we have Gavis Battle Hall Live Production letting us know that this is a special day for the quote unquote amazing jester. The Hall Stars English member stating okay now it's officially my birthday. You all have to be really nice to me for 24 hours starting now. Girl DM beforehand asking, can someone tell me what eyeshadow brand this man uses? Thank you. Then getting the reply officially, it is Crown. Linear then presenting that exchange as this illustration. Girl DM responding, my exact expression. All while this green cat gamer VTuber is giving us this animated expression by Ronnie after having released a lyric video on YouTube for her original song, 
souvenir. Next up, we have the up and coming VTuber agency from Japan, Vespo. This weekend debuting not one, not two, but three 3D reveals. That beginning with Noah to an audience of nearly 90,000 concurrent viewers, directing into Samir's stream and surpassing 90,000 viewers. And then lastly into Lisa's stream, rocketing past 100,000 concurrent viewers. A major victory for what is clearly now the third biggest VTuber agency in all of Japan. And speaking of agencies, here we have Production Kawaii updating us that their 3D live concert tickets are now on sale. It's the Forever Bloom, our first chapter concert, taking place at the El Rey Theater on July 1st, 2023 in Los Angeles, just a day before Hollow EN Connect, the first live concert for Hollow Live English, taking place the very next day on July 2nd and also in Los Angeles. Production Kawaii also alerting us that the 3D regular outfit debuts are now scheduled for May 27th and 28th. These VTubers were debuted earlier in 3D in their idol outfits, as we also have the Ofkai Expo. Tweeting out, feeling a little down lately, worry not, because Production Kawaii's Amano Nene is here to heal you. Nene confirming she is a special guest at the Ofkai Expo, that event taking place in mid-June. Further, we have the VTuber agency Idol dropping on us this final teaser silhouette for Idol EN2 and saying the depths are cold and boring, she's ready to surface. We'll have more on that announcement later in this episode. As also with Idol, we have Yuko Yure hosting an I'm Trapped Let Me Out stream. And as this VTuber is very open and sharing, updating us with Boo Morning, I have Ligma. Why did I even bother touching grass? Later tweeting, I miss my Boo Bros. Howdy and cute, I'll give you Ligma smooches. Come here. Further along with agencies, of course we have Phase Connect, announcing a collection of their members will be joining Anime Central this weekend from May 19th to the 21st, and further launching the account for Dizzy Gokuro, labeled here as a deep sea invader with this account on Twitter that has existed since July of 2020. Also with Face Connect, we have Amano Gawa Shina. Shina saying, I would not be here without her. I hope you will give her a warm welcome, everyone. This all while Shina has had her cover premiere for Requiem. It's being a cover song alongside Kaneko Lumi, also with Face Connect. And as Sheena has surpassed 50,000 subscribers on YouTube, she would celebrate with a donathon, giving us this voice tweet and stating, don't listen in public, I am sorry. So as a joke, I went to my friend's house wearing Pecora's wig and clothes. I could barely stop my laughter as he went red as a tomato and looked at me from head to toe with a bit of drool in his mouth. The way he stared made me feel a bit funny too, but I decided to tease him more by taking off my clothes. He asked me, are you serious? And I said, yep, Peko. He went silent for what seemed like forever, so I asked him, what's the matter, Peko? He said he's confused, but when his got really hard, which made me take off his clothes, I expected him to scream stop as I kissed him and stroked his bleep, but instead he shouted, oh God, Pecora, which made me get a bleep myself. Before I knew it, I was <clears throat> him for the first time until he his was so thick it got stuck inside my throat no matter how hard I swallowed. He then said, I want to smash you right now. And seeing that we've already gone that far, we were both naked. I obliged. A few hours later, the jerk went all pale and said to me, Why do we do that? Now I'm not effing straight. But he looked so cute, all confused like that. So I took pity on him and reassured while wiping his off my face. Let's just pretend I'm still Pecora. <clears throat> uh, afterwards, Sheena also saying, Thank you, everyone, for the most amazing 48 hours of my life. Thank you so much for everything. I have the most loving community ever, and I feel extremely blessed. As also being blessed is Sony Music V's newly debuted VTuber, Kokuyu Lira, herself debuting alongside two others with V. The Sony Music VTuber also sharing the same character illustrator as Hall Live English's series Fauna. Fauna earlier seen congratulating Lyra on her debut. Lyra also 
also noticing that overseas guys were noticing her, saying thank you all for finding me. It's a pleasure to meet you. Also tweeting out in English, thanks everyone for your concern. I am a salamander that does not do well on rainy days. I'm sure there will be more days like that in the future, but on the days when I'm fine, I want to have lots of fun with you guys. Those next few days, including this monetization stream, letting her followers know that they could bring food and drink. And now bringing us even more, VTuber Agency News is Heidi. Take it away. Hi, hi everyone. Starting off, we check in with FaZe Connect as we look back at their teaser for the upcoming new wave of FaZe Invaders here in May of this year, with the agency dropping this silhouette of their self-described deep-sea invader, Dizzy Dokuro, and a date set for May 27th. Dizzy Dokuro being one of three previously teased talents, taking a look back at FaZe Connect's announcements of their talent appearances for the upcoming Ofkai Expo in June. So, we can expect to see two more invader silhouettes soon. And also giving us a new wave of talents is V. YouTuber agency Idol with their EN branch, as after finally releasing all five silhouettes of their upcoming second generation, Endless, Idol reminds us that they'll be dropping a reveal trailer on May 31st, further giving us more descriptions of the talents, such as their inspiration drawn from the slice of life anime genre, as we all anticipate this upcoming gen, though that's not all that's happening in Idol, as we now move on to Idol EN talent Rito Ron, who this week has scheduled special off collabs with fellow talent Fuyu Cloverfield, starting off with a hand cam cooking stream, where Riro attempts to share basic culinary knowledge with Fuyo. The two's second off collab is today with a karaoke stream, and as the two interact IRL this week, they've also come to Twitter to share many interesting facts about each other, such as height, with Riro officially being half a centimeter taller than Fuyo, and Fuyo sharing the distance between herself and Riro's laptop, or rather the distance between herself and the secrets of the upcoming second generation. Idol Ian's Rin Penrose and Juna Unagi have also recently met up IRL, with Rin giving us an apology here for not having streamed since Juna's arrival, letting us know that she has fallen over and injured herself several times since Juna arrived, and calling out Juna for laughing at every occurrence of it. Juna also shares her experiences with Rin, such as herself carrying a stuffed animal overseas for the British prince herself, and also finding said prince dead in her room for over 8 hours. And lastly, we check in with AN Project's Kilia Kurayami, announcing her upcoming cover of Saw's Brainstorm, giving us a teaser here, with a cover set to premiere on her channel on May 19th. And only after a couple of hours later, Kilia tweets out that she has already finished recording for another planned cover of hers, so we can be sure to expect more music from Kilia soon. And that's all for me. Back to you, Falls. Thank you so much, Heidi. And that is all for this episode. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Send in your VTuber news to our Discord. We record live on Twitch.tv, except halfway into today's recording, wherein our ISP turned into total trash. But no worries, we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon.